Hey there folks, today I'm bringing you a doubles match against a random passerby. The story behind this battle is that I went on the uh, Pokemon Showdown Wi-Fi room and started asking around for battles. I got a whole bunch of battles and a whole bunch of tiers, but the one tier that I could not get a single person to battle me in was Smog on Doubles. So after, um, you know, after like a few hours trying to find someone to do Smog on Doubles with, I finally gave up, but I was like, no, I am not just giving up and going to sleep. Even though it was like midnight at the time and I was sleepy. But I was like, no, I'm not going to sleep until I get myself a doubles match. So I started challenging random passers by and I was like, come on, someone take me up on a doubles match. And I finally found someone. It took me like 20 tries, but I finally found someone who was like, yes, I will take you up on a doubles match. Um, so to refresh your memory, uh, this team was is not a team that I made. Myself, it was made by uh, Punamon, who's the head of Smog on Doubles. So if anyone knows how to make a Smog on Doubles team, it is him. I don't know if you can call this match Smog on Doubles because um, you know I don't know if it counts if you're you know just going up against some random person you found through the uh, the PSS. But I don't care. Uh, I'm, it's a doubles match, and the Pokemon on either side are Smog on Doubles legal, so it works out for me. So. Uh, anyway, first turn, I lead off with my Scarfed Landorus and my Rotom Heat. Uh, we both actually had Intimidators off on the, our first turn, and that means that Pidgeot... Actually, neither of them are taking particularly large amounts of damage from that um, Rock Slide. And I guess fishing for the crit. And so Gyarados goes for the Surf. This is a special Gyarados. Um, yeah, Gyarados is really not a very good special attacker, uh, and you know you could probably tell from the almost mono dragon team that my opponent has. My opponent's probably not the best trainer out there, but you know I take what I can get. Uh, so Billy D goes for the rock slide. I was really expecting that I would be able to take out this Gyarados, but that miss really screwed me over, and. Um, well, I mean, it didn't really screw me over in the sense that uh, the Surf is so weak, no one's going to actually die due to that hit, um, but whatever. So I go ahead and Sucker Punch against the Pidgeot, just get rid of it, and now I'm just hoping that my uh, Rock Slide doesn't miss twice, and I can actually take out this Gyarados. So um, here comes the Rock Slide, and it does connect, and I take out the Gyarados, and now I am up 6-4. And that's pretty good. Uh, although, then again, you know, looking at my opponent, my opponent's not the most competitive player. So if uh, I were, you know, if this were a tie game, for instance, right now, that would be kind of pathetic. Uh, so now, all of his Pokemon are now weak to Hyper Voice. So at some point, I'm going to want to bring Gardevoir in. But Gardevoir, I mean, Gardevoir has a decent amount of bulk, but I'm running no speed EVs. So uh, I don't want to just send it on a, on a, I need to send it on a free switch if I'm going to send it in. So I withdraw Billy D here because I'm going to want the Intimidating for later. And I really shouldn't withdraw Bisharp as well because both those two Pokemon uh, could run fire type moves, often do run fire type moves. Um, but I just can't resist that boosted, uh, Defiant boosted uh, Sucker Punch. So I go ahead and hit Noivern, Pokemon that's more likely to use the fire, the flamethrower. Uh, and I do manage to take it out, so that's fantastic. And how I'm really hoping that Salamence does not go for the fire type move. Indeed, he doesn't. He goes for the Dragon Breath. Okay, sure. Dr yeah, he gets me paralyzed. I don't care. The only move I'm going for here is Sucker Punch. Um, so now out is going to be Haxorus on his side. I go for the Sucker Punch against Haxorus. I'm like, let's take this thing out. Amazingly, he survives. That's a boosted. I can't remember if it's plus one or plus two thanks to Defiant. I think it's just plus one, but I'm amazed that Hatcher survived a plus one Sucker Punch. Um, so I am now going to die to a Dragon Claw, and that's fine. Uh, I was a little, I was grateful, I guess, that Gyarados didn't get uh, paralyzed there, but it didn't really matter. In fact, this is funny, I'm going to go ahead and paralyze his Salamence. So the idea is get everyone who's out slow enough that when I send out Gar uh, the Gardevoir, um, that I can actually, oh, so I'm not guard of war here because I figured this is the good opportunity. Let's send it out and um, go ahead and mega evolve and let's take some stuff out. So um, Kira goes ahead and mega evolves. I think I go for the protect here because I wanted to be a little bit faster um, before I did anything. Unfortunately, so Hactress goes for the Dragon Claw against Chinatown, my Gyarados, and Gyarados isn't going to care. It is going to activate Citrus Berry. Um, and, you know, that's fine. Um, so really, I think I would have been... So I go ahead and... Right, I wanted to get both of his Pokemon paralyzed so that I could just attack them both first turn. So the, the Protect was a good idea at the time. Unfortunately, Salamence went for Fly. And now I can't Protect next turn. 
Um, for because I don't want to go for the double protect. I could go for the double protect, but I'm not going to. I go now out on Itachi Koma just in case that that fly is targeted at um, Gyarados. I go ahead and go for Psychic, just, you know, Psychic versus, um, uh, whatchamacallit, a Hyper Voice, it didn't really matter. Salmons goes for Fly here, keep in mind this is at minus one, and holy crap, it gets a critical hit and almost takes me out, and that is so tedious. That's so incredibly tedious. Garchomp goes for Dig. Um, again, I'm like, okay, that's kind of weird and random. Um, so Garchomp is hidden underground, I go for the Hyper Voice, it is going to take out Salamence, and that's fine. Critical hit did not matter, you cannot tell me that that critical hit mattered. From a pixelate maximum special attack plus special attack nature Gardevoir. So now I protect on the predicted dig, uh, but I've got the problem that Garchomp's faster than me. So I have Tachikoma go for the Will-O-Wisp, but it doesn't matter, I'm at 11 HP, what am I going to do? I'm not going to survive. Uh, so, this really isn't a... Uh, but, you know, it's not a great situation in, for Gardevoir, but that's fine because, you know, that's his last Pokemon, and I've got a whole, whole bunch left. So, I I actually should have... What I should have done is go went for the Protect and then gone for um, the Rage Powder, but it didn't really matter. Again, I'm, I have plenty of Pokemon left. It's really not a big deal. Uh, so, now out I'm going to send out Chinatown yet again, Simply because it's got a super effective move. Well, it's not a super effective move. I'm sorry. It's just got waterfall, but it's regularly effective, and um, you know the intimidate is nice. Um, so Dragon Rush do does an okay amount, but I think you're better off running Outrage. Uh, so I go ahead and go for the waterfall. It does not KO, but a Giga Drain afterwards. I'm thinking will, and it does. So it's not quite a body bag because I lost two Pokemon. Um, but I still won handily, and against a random passerby, that's kind of what you would hope would happen, considering this team is supposed to be super competitive. I hope you've enjoyed this, folks. So long.